Hey, hey, hey guys. I uh, wanted to give you a little update on the van uh, where I came with it the other day. First thing is, is um, I put this sign up. It's a dual purpose sign. It also acts as an extension for once I get this cushion here. Um, need to get a sheet around it or sew something around it, but uh, there's my extension for my bed. What do you think? And then these just fold back down this way. And then bam. And this cushion will be further back as a headrest um, when it's in this mode. So this is what the sign says. It's pretty funny. All right, the next thing that I accomplished yesterday was the barn door. So I got the barn door up and I got the uh, cabinet door up. So the barn door is functional. It also swings open. Sorry about the camera work, I'm a rookie. I'll get better sooner or later. But there you go, there's the barn door. And then it fits inside that slot for the door. And I need to build a riser for it so it's spaced out. And then a wall, a wall rail from here to here that will block all this open space. So the next thing that I wanted to show you guys is I've seen quite a bit of questions on vlogs on what solar to get and what type of refrigerator. And I've seen a lot of YouTube videos where people are asking the same thing for van lifers. And if you're on a budget, so I bought everything at a budget. I've got uh, two 200 watt solar panels here from Rich Solar and a 1000 watt inverter, a 40 amp MPPT solar charge controller. You definitely wanna get the MPPT. The other ones, what are they called? PWAs, um, they're kind of going out of uh, extinction. They're going into extinction just because they're not as efficient. So Rich Solar, I'll show you the prices. This is what I paid. I paid $6.79 for that kit. So the kit comes with the Bluetooth module. I'll show you that in the other room. The Bluetooth module, which transmits to your phone to let you know what all your batteries are doing, your charge limits, how much charge they have, how much amperage is going in and out. And that was $6.79 for that kit. And then, where's my mouse cursor? There we go. The inverter. It's down to 159. So this is that Bluetooth module that came with the kit and it's $29. Um, so in the Bluetooth module here, plugs right into the bottom of your charge controller and then there's an app on your phone. You just pull your app up and uh, it tells you everything that's going on with your batteries. Now. For cooking, um, this is not budget. So I wouldn't recommend, unless you don't mind spending over $100, um, the Gladiator from Coleman. The reason why I bought this is two reasons. For one, it came with cooking trays. And two, it has this thing called flame technology. And I had one of these before, but uh, somebody stole it out of my garage like four years ago. But anyway, um, it, it boils water a lot faster than my other Coleman that I still have. But you waste a lot of propane. And then for heat. So here we have a Chinese diesel heater. So this is a deluxe. It's only $150 on Amazon. It comes with a controller. 
And most diesel heaters that you see, uh, they don't come in a case like this. You have to install them into your van. And the gas tank's actually bigger on the other one. This is only a gallon gas tank. The other one is a three gallon. And I did buy that one as well. But I think I'm just gonna use it as a backup. I'm gonna put the phone down for, oh, look at that, I'm gonna do this cap. That's the problem. So this is what, hang on one second. All right, this is what the diesel heater looks like from the interior. So that, if you buy the other Chinese diesel heaters that don't come in a case, this is what you get. You get the same heating unit. You get the same components. You just get a smaller gas tank. Now, for if any, any of you guys buy this one, one thing I highly recommend that this company, and I've seen videos that other companies don't do it as well, is gas tank, fuel pump. There is no fuel filter in between here. So the other one that I bought did come with a fuel filter. So I'm gonna install it here and just extend this. And that's the Chinese diesel here. The next thing that I bought, was, and this was only $290 on Amazon. That's right guys, $290. It is a Osranvik 12 volt refrigerator. It's got a tray for vegetables and then the main cooling tray. And it's got an LED light. I should just plug it in, but, uh, yeah. And I, I did the, uh, I left it on for two hours and for one of the hours I sat and watched it kick on and kick off and had a uh, watt meter hooked up to it. It's pulling on average between five and 10 Watts per hour and $290. You can't beat it. And the next thing is this portable battery bank. This is a 240 watt hour portable battery bank from Paxis. This whole thing, 120 watt solar panel, foldable solar panel, and this were both, I mean, together as a package, it cost me $200. This from Jackery, which Jackery is a great company, is $250 alone. And then this is $200. So it's half price. I think they're still available. So it has your 12 volt DC. It has your input for your solar. So this is for charging. And then you have, these are for charging. And then this is a USB and a micro USB, USB-C 3.0. And it has, as soon as I figure out how to open it up in the dark. 120 volt. And when you turn this on, it's a pretty nice display. It will tell you how many watts are going in and how many watts are coming out when you have something plugged into it. Turn it back off here. So that's pretty much it. Um, so we got, oh, I'll open the solar panels up so you can see the quality of the solar panels. There you go. And it's got uh, stands somewhere in here where it can lean up and then inside that bag is your, your charging cables. So if you think about it, um, so for one, Rich Solar. Renogy is the, the, the probably the most widely known um, RV and van life solar panel company out there. Now, the reason why I went with Rich Solar is two things. One, the price. But the second thing is that's the same exact MPPT 40 amp controller that Renogy sells. They just named it something else. Same exact one, same design. So they must get them from the same company and then just slap their own tags on it. Eric, get off the solar panel. So the reason why I went with Renogy or with... Um, Rich Solar over Renergy. This altogether was $300 less 
that if I got the exact same um, stuff from from Renogy. So $300 cheaper, plus the big seller for me was Renogy doesn't have 200 watt solar panels. They have 100 watt and I think 160. So instead of getting four 100 watt solar panels, I got two 200 watt. And that saves some real estate on top of the van. They're definitely bigger than 100 watts, but I think they're only 30 to 35% bigger. So you're saving 70% room right off the bat. So you got $650 for all this kit. Add 150 for the charge control or for the uh, pure sine wave inverter, 1000 watt. So we'll call it $800 even. $200 for 160 watt solar and a battery bank. So we're running at $1,000. 150, 1150, add 100, 1250. So right around $1,300, you have everything that you need for heat, cooking, keeping your fo food cold, solar, and a battery for backup. All you're missing is a, a battery for the solar. And that's, you're looking at about um, $1,000 you're going to always want to go lithium ion phosphate. If you can't afford lithium ion phosphate, which I haven't bought one yet, there is um, AGM deep cycle batteries sealed that are anywhere between $150 and $350. And those 100 amp hours, you can only use 50 amp hours of it or you damage the life of the battery. So you actually save money in the long run going with lithium ion phosphate. Um, or lithium iron, is it ion? Well, anyway, lithium batteries, you save in the long run because you get like seven to 8,000 more charge cycles out of them. And so that, that means they're gonna last 10 times as long. And also you don't have to ever worry about having to watch your batteries. I've seen so many videos where people see their batteries are at 30% life and they're like, oh crap, I should have uh, turned my batteries off. With lithium iron phosphate, you don't have to worry about it. You're all good to go. Anyway, my dogs are out there barking, going crazy. Uh, so I'm gonna end the video here and uh, clean up this mess that I made for you guys. And I hope you like what I did with the van. We'll talk to you later to see you.